everybody welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be doing something obviously a little bit different than what my normal content is but in today's video i decided that i'm going to be sharing with you guys my everyday makeup routine for school or just if i'm going out it's literally the same routine same thing sometimes i might do something a little different but most of the time it's literally the same exact thing i'm sorry that i have not been posting in a very long time I'm just sorry, there's really no excuse for it. I, I really didn't know what to film. Like, I'm running out of ideas to film in ASMR because I don't want to keep posting the same videos over and over again, you know? You feel me? Okay. <laughs> and if you're new here, please hit that big red subscribe button. It would mean the world to me if you could. Also, I'm sorry if my comments are turned off. That's not my doing. YouTube did that, and I'm sorry. Don't come for me. Um, but yeah, I will also be mentioning where I got the products from and like what brand it is that I'm using in this video. If the comments are not turned off, please let me know what videos of ASMR and non-ASMR videos you'd like to see me film. Some of you are probably gonna be like, why don't you just make this into an ASMR video? I'm like, well, I don't know how to make this into an ASMR video. I can't be whispering the whole time. But let me get you guys on my tripod and we should get started in today's video. Okay, so here is just a quick little tour of my makeup setup. So I have that, my little makeup, like, acrylic thing over there, and then my little, like, up-close mirror, and it just turns on and off. You just tap it. It's like touch screen or whatever, but I got, if you were wondering where I got this, I got it off of Amazon. Just search up LED, like, touch vanity mirror or whatever, and it should come up, so... <laughs> Okay, so hopefully this is a good angle. This video is not sponsored by literally anything, so. <laughs> um, but I have this little headband thing because as you see, see, my hair likes to tend to do that a lot. So I have this headband thing. No clue where I got this, but you can get headbands from literally anywhere. Go to Dollar Tree. If you don't have a Dollar Tree around you, go to the 99 cent store. My mirror is over here, if you're wondering. If that's why I keep looking over here. I don't want to use my... Um, camera to see i'm gonna look ridiculous i know i am i'm just putting myself out there like that i'm gonna do this and so i can make sure that like none of my hair is in my face while i'm putting on my makeup so the next thing that i do is i put some lotion on my face to make sure i'm nice and moisturized um i do this twice a day once in the morning and once at night i use this stuff uh it's called vaseline aloe intense i got this from my local grocery store so i just put a little bit on my hands and then i will go in and make sure that gets everywhere really moisturizes your skin so the next thing that i will do is i will take my primer and most of my makeup is from bare minerals which i'm just letting you know because i have really sensitive skin i am literally breaking out for no reason i literally take care of my skin i use this um bare minerals primetime original foundation primer and um i literally don't put that much on that much on then i'll also rub these in between my fingers and make sure that gets everywhere because you want a nice primed face <laughs> for your makeup and this routine is really fast like i can normally get done in like five minutes and my makeup would look you spend hours on it but since I'm explaining everything, it is going to take a little bit longer than five minutes to do because I'm already three minutes in the video. So, yeah. After I've finished priming my face, I move on to my foundation. And I'm also not a beauty guru. I'm just going to say that out now. I do not know how to do makeup. Like, I probably don't do makeup the right way, but I still do it anyways. And I'm reaching from my makeup organizer back there, if you're wondering. So, this is what it looks like. It's just like the stick, and you do not put a lot of this on because you will look like you literally baked a whole cake on your face so you don't want to look like that so i literally just go like triangle line triangle little line like and like a little t so that's literally mostly what i do and if i need more i'll put more on but what i get from bare minerals it's kind of expensive but um it's it's worth it because like I said I have sensitive skin and it lasts a very long time so 
Um, now I just take this Bare Minerals brush, um, it's a foundation brush, and I just blend it on out. The lighting is bad, I'm sorry. It is literally like, it's, I think it's like 1 o'clock in the morning right now. I want to do my makeup for no exact reason, so that's what I'm doing. And then I make sure I blend it into my neck because I don't want to look like those people who don't know how to blend it in. So once my foundation is all blended in, it's pretty good. And this is not a full coverage foundation that I use. Um, Bare Minerals, don't they don't really have full coverage foundation. But I, it doesn't matter because I don't really care about that because my, I, don't, I usually don't need full coverage foundation. Next, as, as soon as I'm done blending everything out and it looks like I have a pretty good base I will go in with this bare minerals bare skin concealer and it just looks like that and then I'll do a triangle a triangle and then I'll blend that out and if I have like any like blemishes or anything I'll also do that but I just want to see what this looks like before I add any more so like I said, with the bare mineral stuff, you really don't need that much, um, which is really good because you don't go through makeup a lot. Even if you use it every day, you still don't go through it. I think that is pretty good. Like you can see, like it's not as red as it was before over here. That's literally it for my whole, like my base. It's for like foundation and concealer. That's it. Also, I've been using the same brush for concealer and foundation. I didn't switch brushes. It's literally the same brush. Okay, so next I will go in with this Flawless Face Bare Minerals brush. Just looks like that little. And I will also go in with this blush and bronzer in one, which I think is fantastic because that saves a step and I do not know how to bronze. So I just put a little bit on because their stuff goes a long way and you'll end up looking like an Oompa Loompa if you use too much of this stuff. So, oh, look at that. Okay. So I just, I literally go up here and then over here. I don't even go around my face like you should if it's bronzer but I don't it's also pinky so I don't want to put pink on my forehead and this seems to do the job of how I've been doing it so I'm just gonna keep doing it okay so that step is done after that I will go in with this Maybelline eye studio highlight with the same brush that I used for the brush slash bronzer I will go in like right here and just a little bit up here with the um with the highlight and i will also take this do it on my nose a little bit and then i also do it on my cupid's bow just a little bit just a little bit just a little bit <laughs> that would have been a good asmr part if i actually did this video in asmr okay so i got normally with this setting powder thing from bare minerals it's called mineral veil um normally with that i would use this brush because that's what they recommended me to use it when i went in the store but i found this really fluffy brush from target yesterday when i went shopping and it says full powder so i'm guessing you literally just go over your whole face with that so i'm gonna try it in today's video but normally if you want my actual real everyday makeup routine i use this brush normally but today i'm going to try this brush and like I said, I got this from Target and it's the Echo Tools full powder brush. So I'm going to try it out. But with this, it literally looks like that. <laughs> I'm trying not to spill everywhere. So you literally get some, tap it off as best as you can, and literally just, oh my god, it's so soft. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry, this is my first time using this brush. You literally just wipe it on your face. And I you I do this process a couple times. I go on each side. And that seems to do the job. So that's all I do for my face. Um next I will literally for my lips I will go in with this chapstick total hydration three in one little chapstick thing and it moisturizes your lips a lot and i got this for my birthday so 
You can ask the person who got it for my birthday where it's from, but I don't know where it's from. And I'll just do a quick little layer of that. And that's it. And if I'm feeling good and I like actually really want to that day, I have lip glosses, a whole bunch of lip glosses too that I will normally use, but normally I just put chapstick on because it feels better on your lips and it actually moisturizes your lips. Moving on to my brows, I go in with tweezers. Well, first I will brush it out and I do not have a spoolie, so I just have this little brush thing at the end of my pen, uh, pencil for my eyebrows. But I will just brush them out and I will look to see if anything needs to be plucked or not. But I just got my eyebrows done so it doesn't look like I need to pluck anything. No, I don't need to pluck anything but I will pluck it with tweezers if I do. But after I finish brushing out my brows, I will go in with this um, LA Colors brow pencil. I will lightly go through my brows since... I don't really like dark eyebrows since my hair is pretty dark and my eyebrows are pretty full in general. I don't really think that I need to do this step, but it just adds a little, you know, pop. So I decided to do it. <laughs> so I decided to add that into my routine like a little bit ago. So that's that. So once that's done, like, there's not that big of a difference between the two, but then I will go in with this, um, Elmay Brow Styler. I don't know what it is, but it's, like, gel for your eyebrows, basically. It just looks like that, and you run it through so it doesn't move, and you don't have to worry about your eyebrows getting out of place, you know? So, and it, like, makes your eyebrows a little darker, too, because it gives, like, a finish to them. If that makes any sense. So I'm going to go ahead and do that on my other um, eyebrow. Okay, so that is it for my brows. Now moving on to my eyes. If I do decide to do a eyeshadow look for that day, but sometimes I don't, depending on how much time I have, but I will do eyeshadow be before I do mascara. And the palette that I use most is this Oft Glam Anastasia palette, and it just looks like this. Oh, jeez. And I got this from Sephora. Um this and then but first I will put on this Anastasia eye primer and you only need a little bit of this so I also got this from Sephora that's the palette that I use because I feel most glamorous in it because the eyeshadow literally is so nice it's so smooth like if you've never tried not a drugstore eyeshadow before it's a whole different feeling like when you put it on, it just blends out so much more better. The last step would be to put on mascara. And this is not the mascara that I usually use, but this is... I used to use this and it worked just fine, but this is the Avon Big and Multiplied Volume Mascara. Um, now I use the... Um, what is it? I don't know, but I'll put it on the screen once, like, what I use. And it makes your eyelashes so much more better like i got it as a birthday present from sephora so that's where i first tested it out on but i'm going to go ahead and put some mascara on and then i'll be back with you guys okay guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and this is the finished product um just imagine eyeshadow if you wanted an eyeshadow look but i would normally just put like a, like a couple nude eyeshadows and like blend them all together but anyways this is the um finished product and I think it looks really natural perfect for school this is just perfect to go out in and um, it makes you have like a little boost of confidence so if that's what you're looking for I really recommend this makeup look and yeah thank you guys for watching bye guys